Hi, I'm Andreas and this is part 8 of my robot arm project. This will be a quick overview of what's happened uh, the last weeks. Um, I just wanted uh, to uh, make some minor changes in the code to get a, a rotary base up and running. And uh, did some mistake and the arm totally went amok and broke free. It's basically um, this arm smashed with all its power to the ground and the base, rotary base broke off. Uh, as you can see it's totally broken. Um, this shows a weak point of the design. It's only ma uh, mounted on these small pieces so I have to enforce them. Um, unfortunately my printer is currently printing a new shoulder uh, joint with the new belt tension system and also my attempt to make it universal. This is the uh, uh, elbow joint with the new shoulder and the belt tensioner. I hope you can see it. I demonstrated, I showed you the CAD files in the last video and I printed it and assembled it and it's all, everything is better uh, working now. It's, it's actually moves quite smooth. I also get the kinematics running. Uh, I use the EK Fast uh, plugin or module from robot operating system called ROS or Move It. Um, and it generates a C file which I compiled to a DLL and linked it to my C sharp program which, which is controlling the robot arm. I plan to demonstrate this, but unfortunately, uh, the robot arm went amok. Maybe he doesn't like it, the publicity or something. Uh, in the base I installed the encoder to get a closed loop uh, control in, even if I use a stepper motor here. Uh, closed loop system seems um, best choice for a robot arm. I also plan to get uh, the whole system as uh, um, modular and uh, interchangeable as possible so I decided uh, to make a universal mount where you e either can uh, use a stepper motor or a DC motor or, or whatever you like and you don't have to reprint the whole base structure you just have to adjust one or uh, two uh, clamp mechanisms who holds the motor similar like this one but I, I think I will change this a little bit so you can use a stepper motor with a gearbox. So I hope I can merge the blue and the orange version. As the blue which I already built with the stepper motors and the orange which I decided to use DC motor to one single version. Okay, that's it for now. I think I have to wait a little bit longer until my coffee butler will serve the coffee. So I actually have to uh, to get the coffee by myself. So bye and I hope I can post an update very soon.